Hello fellow crafters, Lori here with the Crafty Connection. And I have a quick video with a cute little clothespin idea. So I'm using clothespins from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of I'm not sure how many because I've already uh, opened mine. But I am using the large size ones from Dollar Tree. They have a medium and a mini also. So using those. And what I did is I just painted some clothespins, and I did them two different ways. I painted some yellow ones, and I did paint these all the way through, inside, and out. And then I painted another few with just the top. So, choice is yours. This way, obviously, is a lot quicker. Alright, so I painted some um, purple, I've painted some black, and some yellow. So I did these, and these I'm not, I'm trying to do a bumblebee theme, and this one came out okay. Um, some of them look a little funny, because I didn't use tape or anything, I just went down and made stripes. So for these, I'm just going to pick out three of the ones that I think look decent. And these I'm just going to set aside for now. Alright, so my plan here is to make... These are great for chip clips or put magnets on the back. You can hang them on, hang them on your fridge to put little notes on or appointments. Just anything's fine. And then you can decorate them and paint them any color you want. So what I'm going to do... And I do these in sets of five. And I will show you why I do that in just a moment. So I left a few that I didn't do. And so all I do is I just take the clothespin and whatever color I'm using, I'll do this one in this lavender. And I'm just using a sponge brush. And I just paint across the top like that. And I usually just do two coats with this way I'm doing it. So we'll let that dry. That's all I do. Or if I'm doing the whole clothespin, I'll just paint the whole clothespin. And then for these, I want to do some, I like to put little embellishments on these. And you can use whatever you have, whatever you want. I'm going to do a set with ladybugs because I have some extra uh, ladybugs here. And they have a couple different sizes in the pack that I have. And I just want to pop a ladybug on them. Like that there. And these have little stickies on it, but they're not super sticky. So all I'm going to do is just pull the backing off of it. And then I'm going to grab some of this super glue gel I get from the Dollar Tree. The ladybugs and bumblebees here I got from Amazon. I can uh, post a link for those. And then I just take my clothespin and put some of this gel wherever I want to put my little ladybug. And pop her on there and let her dry. And like I said, these make the cutest little chip clips or, you know, just little clips to hold bags closed. And then what I like to do, if you want to sell these or gift these, let me let that dry for just a minute and I'll come back and do that. And then for these three here, 
which are the bumblebees I'm using. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just put in a little dot of glue on those. And you can use, like I said, whatever <clears throat> colors, theme, embellishment that you want on these. The choice is completely up to you. I'm just bringing you the idea here. And I need one more smaller bee. I don't know if I have any more. I do not. So what I'm going to do is put a bigger one on this one and I can put that one in the middle just to kind of give it a, anyway, I just use what I have like so. these back in. And I was thinking about putting one of these these teeny tiny ones on the maybe. I'll leave those out just in case. I haven't quite decided yet. Right, and then for these, these purple and lavender ones, I thought about taking and just adding some dots first. I'm going to show you how I do those. So I just take a, the back of a paintbrush here. Let me move these over so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And all I do is take the back of the brush, dab it in the paint. And I just start making dots. And as you make your dots here, which I'll show you close up in just a few minutes, as soon as I get it done, you'll see that they get smaller as you go. So here you can see the different size dots you're going to get as you dab them and you start to run out of paint. So I'm seeing that I get one, two, three, about four good dots. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm getting about four good dots is before I get more paint because they do um, run out of paint. And I just took the dark purple and I'm putting the lavender dots on top. Super simple. They just a really cute uh, little gift. Something you could give someone for a housewarming or you could put on top of a, a present like a little as a tag for their gift. You could sell these at a craft show. I just think they're super adorable. And then for these lighter lighter color ones, I'm just going to use some darker purple. The same purple that's on the back of these here. And I'm just using just your basic acrylic paints. Sometimes you'll see that you'll dot one that doesn't have a lot of paint on it. You can just go right back over it. This one is not wanting to dot very nicely.
so I'll let those dry and I'll show you what I'm going to put on those. Now I will say when I painted these, I did have to paint one side, both sides, then the back, let those dry. I painted the insides there and then when I got ready to do the insides of the part that clipped open, I just used another clothespin here to clip it, hold it open while it dried. So this way does take a little longer for dry time, but all in all it's pretty simple. And then, so to, to, to do these, I just, for my idea anyway, which I think makes a really cute presentation, so I'm going to put one here. Then I'm going to use this one that has just the polka dots. And then the smaller V here. Another polka dot. And then the smaller V. So look how cute those look. Isn't that adorable? And you could easily just write something on the card, or I just used a piece of chipboard. You could write, you know, chip clips on them, or if you put magnets on them, you can write magnets, fridge magnets. Um, but anyway, see how cute with the bigger bee in the middle, just making them different. So there's one idea there. And then for the ladybug ones, I have some magnets here. These also have stickers on them. And I will put these right on. Now these magnets are just a bit big for these clothespins, but it's all I had on hand. So I'm going to put it on there to show you. So just a basic little magnet piece on the back and then now you have a cute magnet to hang on your um, fridge and you could just put a little note in it or a doctor appointment and just hang it on the fridge super cute but for this one I'm going to pull this magnet back off because it's too big for this particular one so I would definitely want to get some smaller magnets and I don't want to waste my magnets. So, but that's an idea for a magnet. And you can get magnets anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I'm not sure if Dollar Tree carries them. I'm, I'm sure they probably do. They carry everything. And then for these, I want to put, I'll put one here. Then I'll take one of these black and whites. And you don't have to put embellishments on them. I mean, look how cute they look with just the polka dots. I think they're adorable. I don't have them spaced very well. And you could always write fridge magnets there, chip clips, and look at those. <clears throat> Super cute. Okay, and there's a number two. I don't think I'm going to use these little ladybugs at the moment. And then for these, which are not dry yet, these are just extras I've worked on. As soon as these dry, I have some of these little wooden buttons. And I got these from Timu, actually. So I think these were like 49 cents for a package of a, of a ton. 
and they come with all these different colors. So I'm going to look through them and see if there's any with some purple on it. I used them for another project, and but they don't have to necessarily be purple. So you could just use whatever color. I will look through them all while these dry to see if there's any purple. So let these dry real quick. They won't take very long at all. And I'll come back, put them on, and show you these. Okay, so I think these are dry enough to move on. I looked through all my butterflies, and of course, there's not one purple butterfly. So I probably should have looked at that before I painted my clothespins. But anyway, there's other colors that I can do some more later. That will, I can do pinks, oranges, greens, blues, reds. So I'm just going to use two of the neutral color butterflies here for these particular ones. And I'll put those away later. So I'm going to again get that super glue gel. And I'm going to use two. And I'm going to put these on these two here. my super glue gel onto these. You could probably use hot glue, but I think this would hold them on just a little bit better. And if they're going to be used for like chip clips or magnets on your fridge, then you definitely want them to stay together. And I'm going to put these on here at a little angle. Just a slight little angle. And then for these, I would put them, whether you add the magnet to the back or you leave them uh, as is for chip clips, choice is yours. But I just put them on and my glue isn't drying as you can see here. Let me just adjust him till he dries. And look at that, how cute are those? Just adorable, easy to do, super adorable, super budget friendly. And you could always pop these in a little plastic um, bag you can get from Amazon, clear bags, uh, probably any of the craft stores, Michael's Hobby Lobby. And you could easily sell these for five or six bucks at the at a craft, at a craft sale or you know, any kind of a bazaar, and they just cost a little bit of nothing to make. Just So they're just perfect. So anyway, there you go. Another idea to use, and quite frankly, I think they're just really uh, usable because um, I use chip clips constantly, and I constantly have appointments for doctors or whatever, it goes on my fridge so how much more convenient is it to just clip them on to a magnet on a clothespin so whether you do them with just the fronts like I did here or you do them painted completely like I did here either way they're both adorable they're both cute and they just really take no time at all and you can use any kind of pieces you have smaller pieces you could do these for holidays uh fourth of july is coming up you could do them in red white and blue um christmas halloween any season and any holiday you wanted so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this and i will post links in the bottom for the bees and the ladybugs i used for the butterflies i got from timu and for the magnets and the different size of magnets that I got from Amazon, but I'm sure you could find those at your local craft store too. All right, until next time, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.